What's really exciting about Agua Viva, which means living water, is that we have this living system in close proximity to human habitation. This is going to be an incredible source of enjoyment to the people who live in Agua Viva in terms of looking out at water, walking along the edges of water, crossing over the water on bridges, and paddling through the estuarine system in, in canoes and kayaks. The cleanliness of the water, the vibrancy of the plant material, and the absence of common annoyances like bugs and so on are held in balance by making sure that the key things that support that life are operating in the right range. So we've gone to a great deal of trouble to make sure that we've designed for this. Part of that strategy is continuing to look at past projects like Puerto Escondido, so Loreto Bay can build an even better system at Agua Viva. David always makes sure that there's everyone under the sun looking at what it is that we're going to do before we do it. So we have American engineers, Canadian engineers, Mexican engineers, Mexican marine associations, there's uh, all the environmental groups, the regenerative design people, everyone's looking at how we do this. So this is not even just an engineering piece of work, it's a whole piece of life it seems. The edge, the creation of edge itself is really an important part of what we're trying to do because it's at the edge that sea life is most active. And interestingly enough, among the many edge creatures that we find in the desert are human beings. They're in the Baja. People are always attracted to the edge because that's where the food is and that's where the great variety of life is. And that's exactly what we're looking to do at Aquaviva.